Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. Operation RV back here with another video. Uh, today's uh, video is going to be regarding uh, the lower AR-15 pistol grip. And uh, what I wanted to kind of share is to add a little customization to your AR. Uh, relatively pretty cheap um, with some of the tools here that I've gathered to make this happen. So right here up front what I have is uh, just the standard um, AR lower pistol grip that comes with uh, most lowers or what you probably find out there as the base model grip uh, besides Hogue and um, Magpul and some of the other famous ones we got out there. Uh, but what I wanted to do is kind of add some a little bit more texture on this grip because uh, my, my bear paws are kind of fairly large and this texture that they have on here under hot circumstances when your hands get sweaty and so forth doesn't do really good justice when you're out there planking or uh, shooting so I'm going to flip it over to kind of show what I've done so far um, and what I've kind of created is what they call a dragon scale grip so let me see if I can get in there and give you some good uh, detail here and uh, what you have above is just your standard Dremel tool set that it comes with. And so what I've used, let me go ahead and flip it over, is this one here. Uh, just a little Dremel tool set. And this guy um, that I have here next to it is just a little sanding, like sandpaper. And that's all I did is I just sanded this down and then I used uh, this angle tip here. Let me focus on in. And uh, kind of set it at an angle on this other side after I got it smoothed out to give this uh, dragon scale effect. Uh, so hold tight and I'm going to show you the process. Alright, so here we go. Went ahead and added the tip here. And let's see what we got. Maybe a little loud at first. I'll kind of give an example on what, what we're doing here. Ideally, to do wear a mask, but as you can tell, it puts off some fine uh, polymer plastic. And just for health purposes, I put a dust mask on. So, go ahead and turn it off so I can kind of show you here real quick. Alright, so it has some light sanding. Let me see if we can focus in there. So now let me show you real quick. So now I'm going to get the uh, the iron here. And uh, let me show you. So what I've done is I've held the tip kind of at an angle here. Um, and pretty much did the burn marks like this at an angle. So let me show you. You move the camera up towards this light so I give you a better demonstration. I just hold it at an angle and basically let it slide and just move on down. And you can uh, continue to do the same thing um, all the way across the pattern like so. all the way across and if you need to do an extra one in there that's totally fine because essentially it's going to come right back over this next grip here keep adding the scales the 
this down. And one second here. Okay. All right. Let me zoom this camera back a little bit. Show you what we got. So this is what I just did right here. So it goes pretty quick and uh, does a really good job. And I will tell you instantly, this is a night and day difference. So uh, stay tuned while I get this one finished. I'll be right back. All right, guys, she is all finished. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around in here where the uh, your fingertip grooves go. And did some slight dragon scales with some smaller stippling. And I will say this is an aggressive grip for those of you who do enjoy something as a positive grip as the dragon scales give. Uh, then this is going to be the texture that you want to do. Um, I did leave some smoothness around. Especially, pardon me. And go ahead and hold it uh, for where your fire and safety will go just because you don't want that irritation when you go to mark uh, go to flip it from fire to safe on and off but uh, as you can see here it gives a good uh, good grip indentation all the way around and uh, like I did mention before it is aggressive so you don't have to worry about this slipping out of your hand when plinking or out there shooting at the range or whatever you're doing uh, with sweaty hands if you decide not to wear gloves and if you do add gloves to this you even have more of a positive grip on your uh, on your rifle uh, so folks uh, thank you for tuning in on this um, as always uh, please comment like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time peace